So after Boruto episode 246, I'm not gonna lie, it's not looking good out here, man. <laughs> after seeing that episode, I'm not gonna hold you, that episode, you know, at least in my opinion, was not good. I'm just gonna say that straight. It's just not a good look right now. So I decided to get some help. I saw this video recommended to me called How Boruto Can Become a Good anime now currently i have been watching the Barta anime we're gonna go into this video we're gonna react to it let's look at this cyborgs need to remove all cyborgs from this anime um, no. I mean, with Boruto, I feel like some people don't understand that with Boruto as a series, it kind of emphasizes on the technological advancements of the Naruto verse. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, considering that this is the next generation. This kind of relates to the real world. As years pass, so will technology. You know, 20 years ago, we were having flip phones and side phones. Now we all have the latest iPhone, stuff like that. Over time, you're going to get technologically advanced. This was always a thing back in Naruto. And even once you go into Shippuden, especially in the last, you saw a Stuff like cannons that can literally destroy the moon this really isn't new it's just more technological advancements considering that it's been 16 years since the naruto shippuden era otsutsuki if you want to watch an anime about gods go watch dragon ball i mean otsutsukis have been like referenced in naruto shippuden and considering the stage of six paths is a otsutsuki himself this really isn't new this hasn't been a thing that makes boruto bad if anything if you want to say that the otsutsuki make boruto bad you might as well say that naruto shippuden itself is a bad anime considering that they have otsutsukis themselves kaguya for example and i'm not trying to say they're bad because of the otsutsukis but this has always been a consistent thing this really isn't just a boruto exclusive thing naruto was the series that introduced the otsutsuki and boruto just expanded upon that plot line in fact it made it a lot more interesting uh ninja tools you spelled that wrong by the way the ninja tools must be removed uh same thing my ex explanation toward the cyborg that applies as well technology is going to advance so this really isn't a bad thing we literally saw one of the six paths of pain literally shoot out goddamn rockets in arguably the greatest arc in naruto so this really isn't a bad thing either in fact this is just a consistent thing technology has been improving to a point where you can weaponize it so there's absolutely nothing bad with it in fact it's a good thing about boruto it's the one thing that makes boruto unique in the first place especially with a character like kawaki and the rest of the car organization the reason why they're powerful in the first place is because because of the technological advancements but i digress all right um power balance 12 year olds should not be stronger than demigods they should be at least 16. i mean i get that like boruto and kawaki are at a point where they basically could like beat up the entire shippuden verse but at the same time it's like when you have characters like naruto and sasuke being at such a high level of course with boruto being a main character you have to include him in those battles and even though he's not you know throwing hands with ishiki throwing the ones with the strongest characters in the verse he has to partake in those battles in order to, for him to gain that experience with these characters being so strong imagine boruto as a series only having characters that are like deeper level for example and yeah while they're going to be a challenge to the kids the adults can one tap them very easily and that would just make the stakes feel very cheap and it wouldn't feel deserved considering that we know that the adults can just take them out and of course there's nothing wrong with having a low tier villains that are only a threat to the kids but when you look at like the boruto manga in the past couple of arcs in the boruto anime the main villains have been naruto sasuke power levels and of course with that being said they are not the main characters anymore it's boruto and kawaki they're going to have to bring them up to that level unfortunately and i mean i don't have a problem with that that is going to happen considering they have otsutsuki dna fillers the studios should stop releasing fillers so often it's better to take a break um i guess they're referring to anime canon and i know there's a whole controversial thing anime canon is filler but um anime canon is proven to be connected to the manga the manga does reference a lot of anime canon a lot of anime canon episodes do reference the manga as well they do tie in a lot of loose points for example characters like deepa and victor and even though deepa isn't in the manga he enhanced the car organization as a whole um as well as with victor considering victor only had like two pages in the manga and they gave him an entire arc to flesh out his character same thing goes for a character like mugino as well even in the mitsuki disappearance arc the doctor that created the octas he also helped out in the car activation arc who's also an outer member of kara so those tie-ins do play a purpose there's some anime canon arcs where like i'm not a fan of just straight up i'm just watching it i'm like damn son just get that on my face so i understand
understand like especially with the weekly anime like boruto canon episodes the main series should be allocated much more budget um i hate when people say budget it's not really budget it's more on the time and scheduling how well an episode can be animated so for example boruto episode 189 the fight with kaoki versus Garo. the reason why it had such nice animation and art style is because they spent a lot of time on that episode same thing goes for an episode like episode 65 217 208 for example stuff like that where they had such a nice art style and animation in these fights when the studio actually has time not budget when they actually have time and the proper scheduling to make an episode it's going to look great so i mean in the last year especially with the manga canon episodes being adapted i'm not gonna lie they were very consistent all right next three uh minor characters it is worth paying more attention to minor characters well you wouldn't be saying that if you were actually watching the anime canon episodes oh wait you called them filler episodes because in those filler episodes these minor characters do get a lot of screen time um <laughs> his logic's flawed man it, it's funny it's funny but that, that's just how i see it if you do want to see these minor characters or these side characters that aren't main characters for example like uh, a shikadai or in the wabe for example go watch the anime canon arcs go watch the academy entrance arc go watch the hidden mist arc go watch the uh mitsuki retrieval arc zero plus don't be afraid to show cruelty and violence boruto is too childish that's incredibly ironic considering kagura got his back blown out in the last episode so i digress i mean in the last year or two We've seen a lot of characters get killed off, whether main characters or side characters. We've seen characters like Kurama die. We've seen characters like Garo when he fought Kawaki. He got his back blown out. Big pause, by the way. First episode of the Kara activation arc. We basically saw a kid just stab himself in the throat because he didn't want to reveal information to Kara. We've seen stuff like that. And even in the latest arc currently going on in the Boruto anime, many characters are dying. So saying Boruto's too childish, I would say that you're not watching the show right now. It's kind of funny because we've seen a lot of death in the past two years. And even the latest episode we saw two important characters two pivotal characters get killed off in the current arc i guess this could be a criticism for the beginning of the boruto anime considering that the boruto anime when it first started was intended for kids now that the main cast has matured a lot it's obviously becoming a lot more violent considering what's at stake next is karma remove karma from the anime because of it i have to watch only taijutsu first of all you gotta spell correctly bro but at the same time it's like bro karma is such a pivotal power up the karma seal itself is such a pivotal plot line for a characters such as Kawaki for example such as a character like Boruto such as a character like Code they all have a lot of depth with the karma seals with these characters they're not going to remove karma it's only going to get more relevant as the series progresses so it's not going anywhere anytime soon and in my opinion I think it's a great addition to the series it says I have to watch only Taijutsu that's funny because at the end of the horror arc in Naruto Shippuden a lot of fans are complaining that oh they're using too much ninjutsu too much explosions it's becoming too Dragon Ball like so uh, Kishimoto and Ikimoto they did mention that fans were complaining about that so guess what they decided to actually listen to the fans and include absorption that's why karma was introduced in the first place and even before that a lot of characters like momoshiki and delta the ability to absorb ninjutsu but there's other ways to get around it you know the karma just doesn't absorb all ninjutsu uh there's obviously a weakness to it such as using ninjutsu with natural elements that can't be absorbed i mean if you don't like that go watch the war arc again taijutsu is the strongest element in naruto when it comes to these fights it has a new element into the series genjutsu need to return genjutsu because this is a cool concept of fighting i mean genjutsu isn't really relevant that much i've seen sarada do it a couple times but i mean yeah i think that's a fair point i don't know if genjutsu can really work on an otatsuki i would give him this i think this is a fair point uh next is nerfed characters it's worth stopping weakening old characters for the sake of new ones um, you gotta work on your grammar, my guy. But besides that point, um, I mean, when you're talking about, I guess, Naruto and Sasuke, Naruto losing Kurama, Sasuke losing his Rinnegan, I mean, they they weren't nerfed for the sake of new characters. They were nerfed because of the plot demanded it. Naruto obviously lost Kurama because he used Baryon mode. You obviously had to have a consequence of using such a powerful transformation. There's no way you can walk away scot-free from it. And Momoshiki stabbing Sasuke's Rinnegan, that just only shows that the Elsa took me hate Sasuke's Rinnegan simply because it's so tricky. I guess he does have a point considering that in the time travel arc sasuke was nerfed he does have a valid point for like the time travel arc but i mean the plot demanded it in the actual manga canon they weren't nerfed for the sake of the kiss and signs it is worth returning the 
the hand signs the fuck because it's unique feature of naruto boruto's doing way more hand signs than his dad ever was as a kid let's keep it 100 let's keep it on it like let's keep it a rack he's doing more hand signs than his dad there's plenty of hand signs in boruto in fact there is a lot if you're actually watching the anime you would know it's crazy considering that boruto was using a lot of hand signs in the very first arc of the boruto anime so this isn't correct kids make the new generation different in appearance from the parents your kid is going to look like you you know your trait is going to be passed down of course shikadai is going to be looking like shikamaru sarada is going to be looking like sasuke chocho is going to be looking like choji why because their traits are being passed down to their kids this really isn't anything Bad. these two points are kind of ass i'm not gonna lie bad villains villains should have a deeper story i wouldn't say the villains in boruto are bad but in my opinion i do think they lack some substance but i kind of agree with this the villains in boruto are kind of lacking i think this is a fair point i wouldn't say they're bad compared to other villains in new gen the boruto villains do not add up but i do have faith in the current villains in the manga right now mitsuki mitsuki should be the main character boruto is too boring uh, that's just not true i'm not even going to explain that my guy that's just oh man that's just bad uh Sharingan. Sharingan should become a strong dojutsu again, not what it is now. I mean the Sharingan kinda got triumphed by the Rinnegan during like the pain arc and shit. We've seen Sarada use it in battle against inner Kara members such as Boro, her using Chidori for example, uh, her fighting Deepa her, when she unlocked the Tutomo Sharingan. So I mean the Sharingan is pretty useful. I mean even like in the Jigen fight, Sasuke was using his Sharingan to track Jigen, how his abilities were working because of his Sharingan ability. This will fix everything. Let Baruto be a dream in the internal Tsukiyomi. Um, I don't know what a Baruto is, but yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, let Baruto, but I guess he's referring to Boruto, of course. Um, Boruto being an infant Tsukiyomi does not make sense. I've made a video on that before. That is a terrible theory. Like, it's a garbage theory. Like, the first 40 seconds of Boruto shows that the Leaf Village has been destroyed. And why would Naruto's dream be for the Leaf to be destroyed? Why would Naruto's dream be for Kurama to die? Why would Naruto's dream be for Boruto to almost be killed and, be and become 100% Otsutsuki with an alien living inside of him? But I digress. That theory doesn't make sense. <laughs> Alright, Madara. Maybe if they resurrect Madara, I'll change my mind. What? Itachi? Maybe if they resurrect Itachi, I'll change my mind. Maybe if they resurrect Obito, I'll change my mind. Oh, man. They're not bringing those characters back. They're just not. That was pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. I was trying to find some advice on how to make Boruto a better anime, but I guess the only points that were valid in this video were like villains. They should be a little bit better. They should have a lot more depth and Genjutsu, but Genjutsu has been pretty relevant, especially with like Sarada as well. She's been using Genjutsu a lot in the anime, but yeah, um, let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. And also tell me, how do you feel about the current arc in the Boruto anime? I'll definitely make a video on the full arc on how I feel about like the Funato clan and uh, the hit and miss and how they handle Kagura's death there's a lot of stuff I want to say about that arc but I'll wait for that arc to finish up so I can actually give my full opinion I'll definitely review that arc so let me know what you think about this video and the current anime arc in the comment section below so if you like this video hit that like button subscribe hit the bell as well and have a good day peace